For nearly two years now, the pandemic has put our medical community under tremendous pressure. Inside Twin Cities hospitals, frontline workers are buried, burned out and frustrated. WCCO's Liz Collins sat down with the team who were among the first to help to see the different paths they find themselves on today. I still just cannot wrap my head that this has all happened. They were there from day one when last March St. Paul's Bethesda Hospital transformed to COVID care. I think it's just the moral injury that's really the problem. Where 1,000 patients came through over a seven month span. There are days I still struggle. I mean, I, I probably will for a long time, but I found new meaning. Yeah. Sending this group in some cases away from such settings. A former nurse manager, Angie Whitley, went to work with the health department, giving vaccinations to people struggling with the decision. To be able to sort of share my story a little bit and say, can I tell you why this is important? People will, you know, they'll put up with a lot for a long time. And like nurses, doctors, we're good at that. But then there's like a, a breaking point. In all, half the women WCCO sat down with last year left COVID care for new roles. They call and text every single day triple critical shift bonuses and I won't pick up. I can't. I also decreased what I work at work. I, I don't pick up the phone either to pick up extra days. Well, they credit the vaccine with saving lives. It's also created what they call hostility among some of the unvaccinated clinging to treatment ideas of their own and the domino effect that decision has played for others. I've never felt like a bad guy being someone's doctor. But I do now, and that's really hard for me. Went to the hospital and they're like, I need open heart surgery, and sat on the med surge floor for 11 days yeah. and almost didn't make it. So it, that's, that's what gets me, not these people that are, you know, they're dying of COVID. You know what? You said that's your choice. That's your choice. But this guy, it wasn't his choice. Still choosing compassion through a pandemic they never imagined. We're all expressing that we're burnt out and it's harder taking care of these patients, but I promise you, I don't take care of patients any differently than I did when I first started being a nurse. I look at that person in the bed as somebody's family member still. In Oak Park Heights, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News.